So honestly, with this chapter of Fairy Tale, mainly two things happened. It did feel very nostalgic overall, like, you know, the classic jokes of, like, Natsu being in at Lucy's place, and it had the fan service, and it felt nostalgic with the guild kind of just palling around, rebuilding and stuff like that, and the fights and all that stuff. It really just was playing on old fairy tale tropes. So in that aspect, it was like, okay, enjoyable-wise, it was like, uh, you know, whatever. But the two major things that happened, obviously, is, first of all, the new guild master, which I said... She's a big possibility, and it turned out to be Erza, even though she was kind of like, oh, what, me? And I don't think that that's going to last too long, because at the end of the day, Mashima ain't going to want to have Erza out of the scene. Because as Guildmaster, she's going to have to basically be, like, you know, watching over everybody and can't really be going out on missions. So I don't think that's going to last too long. And personally, if there were going to be a new one that's going to be permanent, I'd imagine it would have been better off to be, like, Mita Jane or something. Mita Jane... Or possibly Loxus. Loxus, you still want to see him on the battlefield. Mita, Mita Jane, I still like seeing on the battlefield. But she just felt like she was more appropriate for it. Because she's always at the guild anyway. And she used to help out Makarov a lot. And when she goes into her devil mode, she could get all of them to listen to her as well. So I think that Mita Jane would have been more appropriate if it was going to be everlasting. But the fact that Erza is the one, I truly believe it won't be long until Makarov returns and gets his rightful you know, place as guild master. So, that's why I feel as though it's going to be temporary. And the only other thing that happened really was Doran Bolt returning with his old name and basically saying, you know, I'm part of Fairy Tale and the discovery of Makarov basically needing to be rescued or helped by Fairy Tale. So, those were the two major things that happened. While the entire chapter wasn't built up with content like, oh, you know, great exposition or whatever, at the end of the day, the two things that it did bring forth was pretty notable. Like, new Guildmaster and the fact that Makarov needs saving, so to speak, and, you know, Doran Bolt has returned as his old name, Mess Glider or something along the lines of that. So we got those two things, honestly. Makes me wonder what's going on with Makarov. He's a strong dude. Is he depressed? I don't know. Maybe he's on the side, like, doing drugs and, like, drinking alcohol, and that's why he, he needs them to rescue him or some shit. I don't fucking know, but... Yeah, honestly, fine chapter for the most part. Again, could have done without some of those. I mean, it does feel nostalgic, but... I've seen it so many times with Fairy Tale and read it so many times that it's kind of like, yeah, seen it. Oh, it's funny. Okay. And I guess the two other small things, if you really want to note it, is once again showing progression and Natsu's so strength and his awareness that when Lucy tried to kick him, he was able to grab her even though all the time she fucks him up or whatever. So that showcases yet again that even in a playful scenario, Natsu still has it. Like, you know, he's gotten a lot stronger. He's gotten a lot wiser. He's a more alert now, even against, like, somebody like Lucy. And then also seeing that Elfman is still, you know, suffering from what happened, from what he did, you know, when he was crying that he was so happy or whatever. You can definitely see that he's still kind of facing that. And I would like to see some sort of, you know, conclusion to that or some sort of, you know, reversal or whatever where Elfman finally does something where he feels like he made up for his sins, so to speak. So, overall chapter, honestly, fine. I would say maybe like a six to a six and a half because even though it was only two major things, those two things were pretty notable. Again, New Guildmaster and Mock Rob's in a deadly situation and Doran Bolt's return or whatever. I guess three, but more so it was two. But let me know what you guys think, first of all. Do you think that the fact that it's Erza that has been named as the new headmaster, guildmaster, fairy tale that is going to be temporary, and Makarov's eventually going to get his title back. Also, how do you feel about the whole Makarov thing? Do you think that, like, he's captured somewhere, or he just completely abandoned it, or something along the lines of something to do with Lumen Historia is why he had to, like, leave, or something along the lines of that? And your world thoughts of the chapter, it did feel nostalgic, but at the same time, it's like, we've seen it a lot, a lot with fairy tales, so I just wasn't, like, gung-ho about it. Any overall thoughts, but that's all I have for this review. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, if you could do so as well, that'd be amazing. I'm Fennel World, and as always, people, have an awesome day.